Well, hello, y'all. <clears throat> Damn, I'm just in the video making mood today. Uh, that last two videos was uh, I don't know. It's probably going to get a lot of ruffles, feathers, or feathers ruffle. Piss a lot of people off for me being not politically correct and calling people the, their modern names, but. It was just a history lesson, more or less. Uh, the other day, if you remember, Joe's Neon sent me a package. And him and I have one thing in common, is we like Indian uh, uh, artifacts and stuff about Indians and stuff. Well, I just thought I'd share this book with you. It's The Wandering Bull LLC. Uh, and what it is, it's a, a warehouse, and you can buy all kinds of uh, things to make Indian uh, things, like conchos, and, and if you want to be, make beaded things, there's beaded stuff, there's porcupine quills, uh, there's uh, fake talons and and uh, deer hoofs and eagle claws and horns and pelts and and uh, just an array of feathers uh, just you name it and they've got it anyway if you're into uh, making art with Indian artifacts this is, this is really a nice place to go. It's uh, www.wanderingbull.com. And uh, why I brought this up was, like I said, Joe and I both are into the Indian culture. And he was nice enough to send me uh, an American Indian flute. This is the flute. These are called pocket flutes because you can stick them in your pocket and you can take them anywhere you want. It's made out of aromatic cedar. This little flute here runs about 40 bucks. Uh, it's key of A. It's, uh, this thing right here is called a fetish. And this is the fire symbol right here. You can have wolves or bears or all kinds of different things. Now this is a, a high spirits flute. It comes from the, the people, the website is uh, www.highspiritsflutes.com. And they have all different sizes, flutes and, and uh, all different kinds of stuff. And they, like I say, this little flute here runs around 40 bucks, but you can get them up uh, in the hundreds if you want to pay that much. This, uh, this fetish here, on a bigger flute, this slides back and forth. But on this particular flute, being it's a pocket flute, it's glued on to where it can't move because it's so small, just the smallest amount of, of uh, twist on it will uh, make the flute sound funny. So, uh, if you're into Indian artifacts, go to the Wandering Bull website and you can order a catalog. Or go to the High Spirits Flute if you would like to have one of these flutes and get you one. Now, I'm not a flute player by any means. You know, I just picked this thing up, uh, I think, a couple days ago. But I'll play you just a little bit and let you hear what this flute sounds like. Now, I ain't got a lot of breath, so you have to bear with me now. Here we go.
Well, at least you know what the little thing sounds like. I'm not, like I said, I'm not the best flute player in the world, but uh, actually, Joe was telling me there's no, I mean, you can buy song books and stuff like that, but a flute is an instrument that it becomes part of you. When you breathe into the flute, uh, you breathe in uh, and the melody that comes out is whatever comes out of your mind. Just like, you know, I don't, that's, that wasn't an, an actual song. It was just whatever I was thinking in my mind come out with me playing on the fingers. So it's a, it's good for me to have something like this because I've got breathing issues. It's going to help my lung capacity and stuff. But uh, I just thought I'd share this with you. And again, I thank Joe's Neon very much for uh, giving me this flute. Uh, thank you, brother. I'll cherish it. So uh, y'all take care. God bless. And I love y'all. And uh, go check these places out, people. Bye-bye.